Next I want the particles to actually look long and thin. And to achieve this I'm going to use a tool called strands. Strands allow us to take the particle position and create a trail following them that are smoothly connected, so smoothly shaded. To make strands we need to use a combination of compounds and considering that I'm going to be building splashes as well as elongated raindrops I'm likely going to have to use some kind of state system to manage the different sizes and lengths of the strands. When it comes to building strands we need to start by creating strands upon particle emission. So under the particle tasks I'll begin by moving into the strands uh, folder and creating strands. Now this is the kind of catch-all uh, node that you need to build all strands regardless of what state they might be in. Splash state, drop state, what have you. I'm going to execute on emit and what this will do is create a lot of lines coming off of my strands. If you notice working any of the attributes at the moment does nothing. We don't change the length of our strands. Uh, basically the strands are living until they die and then they're uh, being regenerated. So the actual strand property page won't help you to make these strands any shorter unless you modify them with another command. 